Good evening if you are in the UK or in America and you're live. But if you're not, hello, <laughs> whatever time of day it is. So I'm going to have a play with this stamp set today. It's called Butterfly Brilliance. You may have seen quite a few people play with this already because it is super duper gorgeous. The first thing I'm going to do is actually cut a mask for myself using this masking sheet. I know I'm going to get a few of you asking, where do I get that masking sheet from? Uh, you have to search for it, I'm afraid. It's not something that Stampin' Up! sell. I hope they're going to sell something like this. I wish they would. So if they're listening... <laughs> um, it's super handy. I mean, I, I often use post-it notes. So if you don't have masking sheet, use post-it notes instead. And yeah, but it because I'm about to cut a whole load out in one go, I thought it would be easier. This is the last piece that I have. I was kindly gifted this by a friend. It is available online. You know, online stores do carry it. So just look up, up masking sheet, I think. Uh, if anyone's watching and has bought it before, can you let me know where you got it from? Uh, I know that there'll be different shops, some in America, obviously, some in the UK, some in Australia, wherever else, uh, that will stock it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut out these butterflies, first of all, using the die. And I'm going to cut two lots because I'm going to stamp my butterflies and then mask them off. Uh, to on a whole whole sheet of paper and we'll see see what happens so welcome welcome everybody uh, you can't stay long Bev okay that's fine um, great to see you all hi if you're watching on the replay thank you for I always appreciate you guys taking time out of your day to watch me, even if you might have me on in the background while you're doing other jobs. That's fine. I do know some of you do watch me on your big screen, like they're watching the telly. So I'm very honoured when you tell me about that. Ooh, that one's not wanting to pull away, so I'm not going to tug it too hard. And pop these ones out. So this one's not as happy, but we can we can sort it out. We have scissors. Just have a look, see what's going on here. Okay, so somewhere it didn't cut properly. It's wanting to stay, stay together. So I'm just going to very gently cut away, figure out where is it not cut through. There we go. Nearly there. Nearly there. So this stamp set and die set in the UK they retail at fifty-one pounds, and that's buying it with a reduction because. If you buy a set together as a bundle, when they first come out, you do get that 10% reduction. So you're actually saving, um, what did I calculate it as? You're saving £6 buying it together. So. Okay, now, my dilemma now is that these stamps are, are still all together. And I'm not sure if I am ready to do the cut just yet. But I think what I could probably do is is ink them up kind of individually. So shall I do that or shall I just make the cut? <laughs> be interested to know what you guys think. Shall I just do it? <laughs> and for those of you who have made the cut, how easy is it to put them all back together again? I'm presuming it is fairly easy. I mean, one could use that and just sort of align them back up. Um, so 
sorry did you ask me a question i've not been looking at the comments i'm so sorry i'll i'll call up my i'll call up my screen now and have a look yes i know people have been buying second ones of these yeah good idea it's a good idea oh, i've just realized i was meant to get an order in um oh my goodness I need more warning before you make the cut. <laughs> uh, I'm using masking paper. Yeah, sorry. Creative Expression sell masking sheets in the UK. Thank you. Um, you haven't had the nerve to do it. Hi, Kiara. Hi, Harad. Nice to see you. Um, I just realised I've got to place this order. <laughs> Bear with me as I just log into a Stampin' Up! website. So for those of you in the UK, you have 29 minutes. No, 28 minutes. You have 28 minutes to get your orders on. You should put us on pause and order. Oh, I'll just keep talking to you. I can keep talking to you while I, I do this. Um, yeah, how is everybody? Nice to see you all. I think I might just do stamping for now. I'll, I'll, I'm just going to stamp all over a sheet and then um, I won't make the cut. I'll be, I'll be kind to those of you who struggle with it. <laughs> oh dear. You guys make me laugh. Right. Okay, let's sign in. Oh, why won't it sign in? That's a bit odd. Oh, take care, Sheila. Have a good time. I'll type my password in carefully. Yep, see, spelling mistake. Hi, Cindy. Nice to see you all. Who else is with us tonight? Okay, so I'm going to stamp this in um, quite a dark colour. Because then I'm going to mask it and then put other colours in the background. So. And I think I'm going to go for... Oh, one of Janice's favourites, Knight of Navy. Right, anyone in the UK want me to order anything else? Anyone in the, any of my customers on? They want me to order anything? Let me know. Oh, the Butterfly Bijou paper's sold out. Oh, I better... I better quickly get my order in then. Okay, so I'm inking up everywhere. Really carefully. Now, hmm, oh, I managed to get ink on there. Didn't mean to do that. Love my multitasking. Yeah, anyone else want to, me to place an order for them <laughs> while I'm here? Just using my little gadget, you know, seeing if it will help or if it will put too much pressure. Let's see. No, that's pretty cool. That's good. So really take your time inking up because want that to show up well oh the paper sold out in the US already wow we okay wow well done Martina Pretty. 
Oh, they're pretty every time, aren't they? Okay, so this is the fun bit, <laughs> she says. Not really fun, it's just... Uh... Okay, so we take the backing off. Now what we do is we lay the mast masking piece over the top as close as possible yeah you can use a whiteboard eraser eraser you can it's basically i've it's a custom i've made this myself and it's just to sort of save your fingers or save your hands rather is that right no that's not right is it this one These are new images to me, so I'm still not used to them. So this is like the top of a, you know those really nice great big jar candles that you get? Like by Yankee or, you know, those sort of companies. Or in the UK, we sometimes get our coffee in, in like really nice jars with great big bulbous lids like that. So, um, hello everyone, please welcome my friend Eva. Hello Eva. Any friend of Phoebe's is a friend of ours. Welcome. Anyone here in Alabama? Yes, I've heard... Um, Sheila's just said that she's getting hail. She's got hail. It's crazy. I've seen people make ice hockey pucks into tools. You know what? Us crafters, we're pretty resilient. Not resilient. What's the word I want? Ingenious. <laughs> We're pretty, you know, we'll look at something and go, hmm. Oh, I've got to give up with that one. Yeah, we'll, we'll you know, there's a will, there's a way with us, uh, with us crafters. Now, I'm sorry, but if you're watching this on the replay, you may want to just skip forward a few minutes. Those of you who are watching on the um, live, you better start making your words. So we've got Butterfly Brilliance. Let's see how many words we can make from Butterfly Brilliance. I don't think we've done that already. We've not played the game with this one yet. So, Ruth, I'm crocheting myself a doily to go under a glass candle lid. Ooh. Let me just get my finger back up because I couldn't see what you were doing. Crochet a doily to go under your glass candle lid. Thank you for sharing it. I love it. Great, as long as it's kind of smooth, it will slip, slip easy, you know. So. Sorry, it just takes a second to kind of like get get this apart. Oh, nearly ripped it then. So, butterfly brilliance. How many words can we make from butterfly brilliance? It's quite a long one actually so I think flutter f l u t t e r yes we can do flutter we can yeah those of you who are waiting for the sets of inks they stamping up have told us that they're waiting for all the color families to come into stock and then they'll send out the colour families in one go. So bless her, poor Martina's been waiting months for her reinkers. <laughs> so um, Martina's just going to have to have a little holiday from stamping. <laughs> Do some colouring or something. <laughs> you know. Oh, butterfly brilliance. Sorry, I've got to bring this back on. Sorry, butterfly brilliance. Your word is butterfly brilliance. That's an amazing word. <laughs> Come on, you guys. You're much smarter than that. What other words can you get? Frilly. Ah, that's a nice word. Now, why can't I see the chat on here? Oh, there we go. Hi, Janice. Oh, poor Martina's resorted to using her old silk painting colours. You know, necessity. It's the mother of all invention, isn't it? That's what they say. 
five. Oh, a frittier. Is that someone who fritters? Or do you mean fritter? Oh, dear me. I'm so sorry about this, guys. I didn't realise that this was going to take so long. Probably would have been easier to cut these out with post-it notes, you know. I'm definitely going to be keeping these in my case because now I've cut them out and taken the bits off them. I'm not going to want to chuck these away. Oh, Linda's off to get her coffee. So while uh, you're waiting for me to do all this, uh, if you want to invite a few more friends here, Eva, I'm so sorry. Normally we, we are right into creating, uh, but uh, this is going to just take a few more moments as I stick these into place. We've got two more to go. So uh, I'm on the fizzy water with a squeeze of lemon and lime at the moment. So that's pretty tasty. Now, I, I love these dies because, look, they've cut out the antenna. Well, they do cut out the antenna, which is kind of like the bane of my life sometimes. Cut the antenna out, please. Um, I just looked up to see Linda. A cup for me, please. Right, we're done. Woohoo! Okay, I better get rid of these plasticky things before I lose those. Right, what colours shall we go for? I'm going to stick this just at the side. So if you want to carry on playing the game, you can. Right, ooh, I fancy some blues tonight. Because I've recently bought, I could buy the single reinker of um, turquoise and uh, sorry, well not turquoise, Bermuda Bay and so on. So I've got I've got those reinked, and um, I'm wondering how to mix that in with a bit of yellow. So if I start with some yellow, and then go from there. Yes, I'm using masked paper. Sorry, Stampin' Up don't sell it. Unfortunately, not yet anyway. That I. I, I every every time a catalog new catalog comes out, I'm like, oh please sell the masking paper. It's such good stuff. So I'm just gonna apply a little bit of colour various places. And I may even bring on some stamps in a second. The word is butterfly brilliance, Bonnie. So whatever words you can make from the letters in in that would be great. Intellectual. In -te -le yes. Well done. No repetition of letters though. But no, I don't think it does repeat. But just say rabbit. If you want to come with, out with phrases, that's fine too. Oh, move that one. Sorry, I moved that out of the way, so I need to just very gently put that back. I thought I was so I was doing so well growing regrowing my nails, and uh, this morning for, I managed to split this one. Right. right, put that back. So you just have to be careful with these fine finer areas. Let's be a bit more gentle. There we go. Lance, Trill and Cattery. Oh. 
Are there any funny phrases in there as well? So this is Coastal Cabana. Actually, you know what I might do? Yes, you know what I'm going to do. I'm just going to do some of this. I'm just going to scrape the colour on. Because I haven't got time to be sponging everywhere. Utterly brill. <laughs> I love it. There we go. Oh yes, we don't mess around here, Phoebe. We, we just get on with it. <laughs> um, I might get some purposes. Put some green on. So where I can see there are white, white spaces, I'm going to... Uh, is your order away? My order? Oh yes, yeah, sorry, I have placed my order. Yes, I did. Thank you. Thanks, Janice. Oops. I'm too impatient, I'm afraid. By a linear. Ooh. That's a good word. Didn't even know that was a word. Oh, I tell you what I did find out today. Um, I thought there was a word, rainment. R-A-I-N-M-E-N-T. And no, I'm wrong. There's only a word, raiment, which means exactly the same thing as what I thought raiment meant, but it doesn't have the N. So I found that out today. Oh, Sherry, it depends what part of the world you're in. So uh, let us know where you are and whoever is on here that knows where to get it will tell you because uh, it's different places for different parts of the world. So usually you can find it online. So, um, yeah. Okay, let's get some stamps out then. I think it'd be nice to use something quite delicate and pretty. So I'm going to use delicate petals. Eclair. Oh, that's a good word. I do like an eclair. Take my next thing that I'd love to learn how to cook is profiteroles, you know, doing the shoe pastry. I've never done it, so that's my next thing I'd really like to have a go doing. Do you already know how I'm going to cut it? No. I don't. I don't... I sometimes have an idea and then sometimes I don't. Sometimes I just kind of go for it. Oh, Phoebe sees three tall ones. Some people see five. That's great. Yeah, no, shout me your ideas. Yes, apparently shoe pastry is very easy. It's. It, I guess it's one of those things that seems scary until you do it. A bit like knitting socks, I think, Janice. You know, it's one of those things that I've put off. Thinking, oh, it's a bit grown up, you know. Uh. Okay, right, that's, I'm happy with that. Uh, what else have we got here? This one. Oh, gluten-free shoe pastry comes out well. Okay, that's helpful to know. 
I do f have some friends that gluten doesn't sit well with them. And to be honest, if something's gluten free, I find that I can eat more of it. <laughs> if I eat a lot of wheat based products in one go, I do start to feel a little bit weird. So although it's slightly limiting having the butterflies all together and I've got this a lot of space around here to fill up, I'm not going to be scared of it. I'm just going to fill it like I would normally do um, and just kind of get on with it really. So. That flower is beautiful, isn't it, Phoebe? Yeah. I like to sort of maybe you know experiment a bit more with it and color it in with some really nice bright colors so how Eva what do you what sort of things do you create are you a card maker as well right what else what else what else what have I not played with yet Oh, these leaves in here are quite nice. I might actually just cheat and put these all on one block. They are actually mask sticky masking paper, Ellen. Yeah, they're not. They were gifted to me. So, um. Gonna move these up a little bit. So sometimes I do this. I I stick a whole load of stamps onto one to one block because it kind of just makes it easier to stamp loads of images. So I'm going to go back in with Bermuda Bay. I'm a bit too scared to kind of go in with a Pacific Point just yet. And so let's try this. Sorry, for those of you who are watching the live and are thinking, why are people typing random words? It's because we're having a bit of a word game. They're making words out of butterfly brilliance. Yeah, I'm not sure I am convinced about putting all these together because you, you do lack a little bit of control as to where things kind of end up. So it kind of looks a little bit perhaps messier than I would normally do. So I'm going to just take that one off to start off with. <laughs> what are you two going on about? I just caught the end of that comment, Linda. I'm going to have to go back and read these. Make sure you two are behaving yourselves. Intercept. That's a good word. Okay. Oh, what about a bit of pretty peacock? While we still have it, while we still have it to play with. Oops. Oh, 
yes, it is funny them talking about heat, considering the, uh, you know, the maturity of my audience. But you know what? If you're still alive and breathing, Oh yes, well done Delinda. See Delinda's keeping it together. Well done Delinda. She's being sensible. Isn't it lovely? It is lovely with a Versailles stamp, isn't it? So pretty. Ooh, might just do another little... Uh... Sorry, I know this is turning into being very stamp heavy. But you can use alternatives if you have them. This is just about getting some texture down. This is the one that I call the rain stamp. So it's from Framed For You. It's this one here, the kind of rain effect. Yes, uh, Framed For You is in the main catalogue. Yeah, the annual. Yeah. You love the yellow peeking through. Oh, good. This is a nice delicate texture and also because it's quite small it means that you can kind of repeat it and do things with it. The other thing you can do with it is, is cross hatch it so you can go in at a slightly different angle as well and you see, oh, it's just where they intersect. Look at that. Oh, sorry, get it into focus. You see how they intersect there? It's not beautiful. Oh, sorry, I've got to leave this in place for you guys. And I'll do it on this side. Okay. Now it is getting a bit difficult to see where the butterflies are, and <laughs> but I'm just going to keep going, almost forget that there are butterflies under there. Oh yeah, stick around for the reveal guys. No skipping forward now. Okay, you've you've got you've made it this far. So if you're watching this on the replay, stick with me. <laughs> I feel like I want to stamp just a few little tiny flowers. Hi Jackie. Oh, that is totally losing its sticky. That's not good. Yeah, that's really lost its sticky. I think I've used this so many times and cleaned it so many times. It, it's not very happy with me. Okay, so if that happens, what you do is... Um, you can cut a piece from of the scrap. Is it gone? I just need a small piece. Is that big enough? Yep. Okay, so that's that's the top. 
So I'm going to take off the bottom section and pop it onto my block. Take off the white and then just re-pick up the stamp. It should stick to it. Oh, come on. Oh, have I done it the wrong way around? Just did not want to stick then. That's really bizarre. I'll do that again. See which bit's going to come off first. Okay. Yeah, it'd be neat if it worked, wouldn't it, Deborah? <laughs> Normally it does. I, I've got a feeling maybe that this this was a bit damp. You know what, I'm not even going to peel it off. I'm just going to carry on stamping in the hope that the, the pressure that I put on it is going to help keep it into place. So I'm just going to pop a few of these little flowers here and there. Yes, this is one of Linda's favourite little stamps at the moment, isn't it, Linda? Well, and Linda likes using it on the end of her finger, so it's even even more wear and tear on it, isn't it? So this is the type of stamp one sheet wonder that you will not want to waste any section of this. Every single section will be usable. Right. right, I think the last thing I'm going to do before I reveal is to just go over again with some of the yellow. Perhaps in areas that are right next to, you see here there's a bit of white. So I want to make sure that there is a lot of colour there. Oh, now it's picking up some of the green that's on the on the mask but anyway I just have to make sure I clean this off later oh that was a bit strong but never mind didn't mean to do it that strong You see, I'm just going in where it's a bit pale. I'm almost regretting not stamping these onto a coloured piece of cardstock, actually, now. But the benefit of actually doing it on the white is that the, the, the white cardstock is just so good for being able to sort of suck in that colour and it doesn't bleed. So, you, you know, you get a much finer result if you if you do use the white I guess what we can always do is just go back in here now and color the butterflies if we want to so I'm just going to pull these off now pop that to the one side so. going to open this up I think and stick these in I'm trying to be careful how I do this.
Oh, thank you, Nina. <laughs> Biscuits and gravy. <laughs> I've never heard anyone say that. I've heard people go, good gravy. But I've never heard someone go, biscuits and gravy. Yes, you can reuse these masks because they're, they're pretty sticky things. Right. Just be careful as you sort of come around the sides of the butterfly so that you don't rip, rip those. Ah, oh, that's a that's a question, Ellen. I'm not sure. I think I might play with colouring some of them in. I'd like to do that because I I'm not sure if I like the stark white. Okay, so I'm just going to clean off this brush a bit because um, it got a little bit tainted with the the other colour. Probably if I had more time, I would let this settle for a bit longer. I'd let the ink kind of like really suck in. But uh, I don't really have that luxury doing a live. So I'm going to try and see then what it looks like with some of these butterflies coloured in. I'm just starting with a very gentle, thank you Jane, yellow brush over. Now I would use stamp the Stampin' Up! one. Actually I do have that one in yellow. I need to buy more of the Stampin' Up! ones. Oh, here it is. There we go. Let's Transfer. Yeah, this just sort of softens the starkness, but you still got that fabulous contrast going on there. There we go. Can you see that? I might colour this one the other side with soft sea foam see what that's like and of course you can go in there and colour with the stamping blends as well please do not cut it up <laughs> oh Martina oh yeah I'm going to cut this up <laughs> What am I going to do with it? This is for cart. This is definitely for sending. I think for me it looks a bit overwhelming in one piece. I'd like to see it in smaller pieces. <laughs> That's unusual for you, Martina, to ask for it not to be cut up. Hands on the fan, Martina. Come on. <sighs> Breathe. <laughs> Frame it. Um... Yeah, I just I just don't like where the butterflies are, I guess. I think once I've cut it up, the butterflies up, then I probably will do a piece that is more frameable. But at the moment, because I'm not happy with where these are at, I um Ruth will cut it. Yeah, Martine, I'm happy to send you a card. Actually, I've got something here ready to send you. Yeah. So I'm just again softening some of this white with putting some soft sea foam over the top of this. Who agrees with Martina? Glenna. <laughs> um, I think what I might do though is cut it up and then I'll colour sections of it just to show you, you know, what you can do if you do want to um, make something with it and have the blends. Uh, where, where are my stencils? I oh, want stencils. Um, templates. Right, let's have a look. So 
So let's have a look. I'm not sure that's going to work. Let's try this one. <laughs> I'll do another one for you, Martina. Don't you worry. Once I've cut the butterflies, I'll do I'll do one for you. You can make one anyway. You've got these. Oh, you've got have you got the dies without the stamps? Okay, I think I'm I'm favouring more the quarters because you get more. You actually get to see the butterflies in them. So it doesn't bother me so much that that I don't like the configuration because seeing three together, I'd probably stamp three together anyway. So that will work, I think. We'll stamp for food. <laughs> Oh, Vicky would like to see it slimline. Hold on, let me just see what it looks like. Oh, just lost something down the back of the radiator. Yeah, that would work slimline as well. Yeah, it will work. But I think for today's experiment, I'm going to I'm going to do it into four. Cut a little bit off. Um, gonna cut a half a centimetre off the top there. Right, come on, people! You can breathe through this now. Breathe through the pain. <laughs> oh, does Mary not want to see me cutting it up either? <laughs> Phoebe says she'll stamp for more stamps. Yeah, first cut is the hardest. So these are perfectly lovely to mount as is. Let's grab uh, some card to show you what they look like mounted. You know, that's perfectly acceptable. But if you wanted to go like a second stage and then colour some of these in, we'll have a little go at doing that. Um, probably try and keep within the kind of colours that we've already got going. Um, <laughs> I would colour a few of the butterflies with stamping blends. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Poor Martina. Is she, is she collapsed in a heap? Do we need to get the smelling salts for Martina? <laughs> uh, Sherry, it's because they are non-stamping up ones. That the, the company that makes stamping up trimmers do supply other companies and they also sell the blades via other companies. So I do have stamping up ones just that the my Stampin' Up score tool broke so I just quickly replaced it with the one that my friend gifted me because I was fed up of uh, almost losing it every time I used it so. okay so I'm I've got what's this light old olive so I'm kind of following roughly where there are already some darker sort of moments on here there we go now I'll tell you what I am struggling with 
it's this white haloing. So either you embrace, I embrace it and go, okay, that's just part of the design. But I have done a video where I actually coloured in around the haloing, just to make it not look so obvious. So it's up to you if you like it or not like it. So this one needs replacing. You could just fill all the butterflies with wink. Oh yeah, that would be lush. I'm not sure if mint macaron is dark enough to... No, it's not quite dark enough. This is light mint macaron. Let me just grab dark and see what it looks like if I just colour in a bit more of this around the edges. So if you were going to cut out a mask by hand rather than using the dyes, if you wanted it to be a true mask around the image, I suggest you would cut your mask out just a little, like a hair's breadth smaller than the actual image. And that way you won't get this kind of what I call haloing effect. Or you can do this, kind of colour it in afterwards. You see how that kind of, it's not as stark then, the contrast. But that's just one of those things. You know, you, there's always going to be pros and cons to whatever technique you, you do. Now, a way of getting a really clear, crisp image, if, and that's if... Oh, actually, you could colour beforehand, is... You could use the fine tip glue pen. Now this is a technique that I did a long, 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 long time ago. So I'm happy to link it in the description below. You get the fine tip glue pen and you flood this whole area with that glue. So it's a similar product to, I don't know, what's uh, the Anna Griffin one? Is it Crystal Effects? Or is it, did we have Crystal Effects? Is that what we called ours years ago? Anyway, you flood it with that, you let it dry overnight preferably and then you can colour over the top or stamp over the top like I did. So that's a really good technique. Oh, it was our brand, yeah. I think the other one was called something else then. Okay, so you see how, let's see the difference between that one and that one. Okay. So I'm not taking a huge amount of care colouring this in. About getting some extra colour on here. Um, okay. Oh yes, we do have the sparkly one. You're right, Heidi. You made it, you used it to make ice cream topping. I love it. Is that with the new ice cream stamp set? Yes, that's so if you're a bit more of a sort of in the artist direction, oh that needs uh, then using masking fluid. I actually got some somewhere. So it's a bit stinky, just to let you know. And you paint it on to your area, then you would carry on and decorate like I've done. 
and then once you've finished you kind of like rub over it and it peels off it's really cool stuff so, so if you think you kind of like this technique and you're likely to do it quite a bit it's probably worth investing in it it's a yes it's a watercolor kind of like product Yeah, Windsor and Newton. Yeah, actually, I think I mind by Windsor and Newton. There we go. Colouring it looks much better. You like that, Nina, do you? Okay, so this is the one that I coloured with the yellow. Now, because it's already got that sort of bit of yellow on it, I, I kind of feel that I only need to put a little bit of this green, green over the top. So this is mint macaron. I'm just going to just do a few little wafts of this really. I don't really want to do too much. The only thing is when you do this you have to sort of remember what you've done before <laughs> and try and do the same on the other side. Uh, there we go. Is that right? Da -da 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 -da. That's why, if you follow the natural where it's dark already, you, sh you won't go too wrong. So thank you everyone for watching tonight. I can see there's quite a few of you. If you're not over Artful Stampin' Space, which is my Facebook kind of community where people share photographs of what they've created in their craft rooms or craft desks and tables inspired by what they've seen on my channel, then please do head over there. It's a great welcoming and supportive creative community. And... Uh, we love seeing what you've created. Okay. What is that um, you wanted to post, Heidi? A link. You can, you can, you're allowed to send post pictures of anything that you've made. If you've got links to other companies or you've got recommendations, then please could you let me know what they are. Just private message me, and I'll, I'll put them somewhere appropriate. Yeah, it's just that I'm, I know it might sound a little bit draconian of me to be a bit strict about what can and can't be posted. It's just that it is my kind of like business page. So um, I try and keep, keep on track with what gets posted. I am considering having sort of file sections for links. We do have file sections for recipes already. So... I might consider doing a file section for people who may want to just put useful other things that complement Stampin' Up! products that Stampin' Up! do not sell. So, Thank you, Mr. Linda. Yeah, a lot of you do your thumbs up as you come in. Well done. It's like, you know, hanging your... It's like, have you hung your hat up? <laughs> It's, that's what I should call it. Have you hung your hat up at the door? And then when you go out, don't forget to take it with you. If you want to shop with me as well, the link to my shop is in the description below. All the products apart from the masking sheet is available. Uh, now, what should I do with this one? I, think I might just keep this one simple and just put, put some yellow. Oh, this one, the brush tip has gone a bit bananas. 
no freckles today no I mean if you want to add a little bit of freckles you can I mean I think we had all this lovely rain in the background so we didn't need the freckles today Now I'm probably colouring these butterflies completely wrong. Like this looks like a cabbage white, this one, but I'm colouring it in yellow. <laughs> oh well, my butterflies, <laughs> I'll do what I want with them. But isn't that the great thing about paper crafting? You can just like let your imagination go a bit and just enjoy the colours and the forms and everything. It's, you don't have to be so strict we're not fine artists you know well mind you there are some fine artists who are very creative with their color choices so maybe we are right i think i'm going to stop there and grab out some card stock They're my butterflies. Yes. Thank you. Oh, lovely to see you, Phoebe. Thanks, Sherry. Please do let me know if you've been here for the first time. We always love welcoming uh, new watchers, new crafters and so on. It's a Citron Falter. Is, is Citron as in Citron? Looks vintage. It does look pretty vintage, doesn't it? Hey, Linda, would you like this as a tablecloth? <laughs> yes, and lovely to meet Eva. Is she still around? Hi, Cher. <laughs> Hi, Will Stamp for Food. Is that who you, they were all referring to easy, earlier? <laughs> You're very welcome. Please come back. Do you subscribe if you've not subscribed before, if you want to be able to find me easily. And if you want to be notified of when I go live, please hit that bell button on YouTube and subscribe to everything. And also I do share on my Artful Stampin' page and the Artful Stampin' Space Facebook group. I do share the link on there so hopefully you get notified in a couple of different ways. So, uh, Oh, have I got a piece of pretty peacock? I want to see what the contrast is like. Oh yeah. Now it's interesting, I stamped this in Knight of Navy, didn't I, the butterflies, but you can almost barely, barely see that it is because it's had so many other colours kind of like put on there. Zitron Falter is a brimstone butterfly, trans literally translated as lemon butterfly. I thought so because Zitron is, sounds like citron, like citrus or citron, lemon. Hi Janine, have you just joined in? Oh, you are very, very late. <gasps> Quick, skip back. <laughs> oh. Okay, so let's go over colours. Don't run away just yet. I'll go over colours with you. Because I've pretty much got everything still on my desk. So, let's see how this works oh no that's not right hi nina bye nina sorry take care right so we stamped first of all the butterflies in knight of navy Oh, 
down. Don't know where it's gone. Anyway, Knight of Navy. So the butterflies were stamped in Knight of Navy. Then I started to kind of colour in the background with Daffodil Delight. Then I went, stuff that for a game of soldiers and I started just applying ink directly on. So I got the Coastal Cabana ink pad and I just started like swiping and swipe that on. And then I did the same with a bit of the pear pizzazz as well. Then, did I stamp with mint macaron? I don't think I did. Oh, did I ink with that? I thought it was soft sea foam. Oh right, there we go. So I thought I was inking with soft sea foam, but it was mint macaron. I think this might be a little bit dry then. And then, in the background, I stamped Pacific Point and Bermuda Bay and some pretty peacocks. So the darker colours I reserved for stamping more detailed stamps. So I'll go through those with everybody. Oh, sorry about that shirt. Now I'm just finishing up, but you can always just quickly, if you press that, that little button and pull back, you'll be able to watch me. So in the background, I used trunk, uh, Framed For You, Very Versailles, Delicate Petals, so the flower from Delicate Petals and that lovely round thing, the script from Very Versailles, the rain stamp and the little flower, and then I stamped a whole load of like leaves and things in the background. These these ones. I sort of put them all on one block and then stamped away. And then I took off the mask. So the masks were cut using a masking sheet. I so I masked all the butterflies before I did all that stamping. And took it off and then I've gone in and coloured after I cut them out and stuck them. Um, so there we go right lovely to see you all thank you so much for spending time with me tonight I hope I've inspired you to have a go doing this I don't know how many of you have already bought this stamp set um, but of course you don't have to do it with the butterflies you can do it with lots of other other imagery I have I've done it with the other imagery in the past hot air balloons that reminds me I did it with hot air balloons a long time ago um, actually I don't think I did it with masking I I did it with heat embossing so you can Im do some emboss resist that would be interesting to try and do apply some Versamark and put some clear embossing powder over those butterflies hmm there's a thought quite sure how I'd manage that so there we go thank you and thank you so much for my super chat um I always am so appreciate it, appreciative of your your time with me give me thumbs up and sharing what I do and also for those of you who do kindly donate because it, it allows me to be able to buy more products for me to demonstrate to you guys because doing five videos a week um I, I, I don't, although much as I love some of the products, I don't want to get too repetitive um, using the same products each time. But then you can't, no, you'd have to colour the butterfly first, Martina. Yeah, you have to kind of like think ahead a little bit and, and either c colour or stamp in the background. Yeah, that's another option. But it's, it's just a whole different type, kind of technique, but it's quite fun. Uh, what we could do actually is cut out the with the dies we could cut out some foam maybe and use the foam as a stamp make our own stamps and um, that way we could um yeah that'd be interesting but yeah the, the other one is the glue technique which i'd probably need to buy a new one and we'll, we'll have a go doing that at some point Thank you, Margie. So kind of you. It was lovely to see you at the weekend. 
lots of love you to all oh um just update on the studio the doors and windows went in today and uh, i need to <laughs> the lock works perfectly fine on my door only it's it was actually made for the reason i got it a bit cheaper was it was made for um a, a different setting <laughs> not a studio it was made for somewhere that needed to be secure so the inside handle doesn't actually open the door so I went he fitted it and then he said right I'm off now see you tomorrow and I thought oh I'm just gonna have a look in there see what it's like and I went in there opened up left the key on the outside and I went into the studio and shut the door <laughs> I'm like oh yes I can't get out can I and I didn't have my phone on me either so thankfully, May was in her bedroom and I so I had to open the window because I thought I'm going to have to climb out of one of these windows. Not very ladylike, but I may have to do that. So I shouted up to May a few times and she came to the window. I was like, I locked myself in. <laughs> so she had to come and let me out. <laughs> I locked myself in. Yes, it's not it's not particularly very nice at the moment in there. I mean, I mean it is nice, but um, it's got bits of old wood and you know it's a bit messy and you know no, no flooring, nothing. It hasn't got the board, the wall boards up yet. So the the electrician's coming tomorrow, and he's going to be helping sort out the electrics from my fuse board at the front of the house. Unfortunately, my main my board is right at the front, so he's going to have to trunk the wire through the house. Uh, to be able to get out and, and do the electrics but I did have a brainwave moment the other day when I realized that he was going to do be, you know doing all the electrics is I'm going to fit an outside socket on my studio because at the old house we had one and it was brilliant because Tom loves using his George Foreman barbecue outside obviously um, and we need a socket for it so I'm going to put a double electric socket actually outside a special weatherproof one so it means we can maybe watch movies in the garden as well i lock the keys and purse in the car sunday morning right before church oh no pamela i've got four i've got four copies of that key yes i i, I had two on my thing my builder's got the other two at the moment but i i i locked it in on the outside so for now until i get a new lock I'm gonna have to just make sure I keep a key in the studio at all times yeah yes for an outside socket yes <laughs> oh it is funny yeah no it's very funny Glenna it's just hilarious <sighs> right there we go that's my story for today you'll use it more than I think I know Glenna I'm thinking do I have like a whole bank of them because like you know I want my speaker I want the little you know I want a projector to do garden cinema you know not that it's a big space don't get me wrong I have measured my um space and it's about uh, it's eight um hold on what did I do it's 8.5 feet by 11 foot so it's about eight it's eight foot by 11 so it's not a massive space but it, obviously I'm very appreciative of the space that it is. So it's not, you know, I'm not going to be able to fit like 10 people in there. I think I'll be able to fit me, May and one other person. But um, yes, I could do a church service outside. Yeah, indeed. Yeah, have people hanging out my windows. <laughs> yeah. Yes, I'm glad I didn't have to climb out the window because um, I'm, I'm not as sprightly as I used to be. Yeah, there we go. Right. Take care, everybody. Don't get locked in there when home alone. <laughs> no, I would climb out the window then, Heidi. Yeah. <laughs> I definitely would. I will wash windows. You, you come, is that a, is, is an office, Cindy? Are you coming to wash? <laughs> wash my windows. Yeah, I think I would have put put something out of joint if I'd had to uh, climb out All right see you guys tomorrow thank you so much bye bye it is yeah, I've really enjoyed it yeah there we go I'm gonna leave you a close-up view and I'll take some photos and put them on artful stamping space lots of love bye